Hello, and welcome back to Obscure Video Editing Hacks for Blender. On this episode, we're going to be asking the question, is your trash confusing? Um, well, we could be asking that if you could actually see the text, but today we're going to be talking about drop shadows and how to make one that's actually kind of good looking in a really quick way. In the video sequence editor here, I've got my text, and if we actually go to the strip properties, there is a setting for drop shadows. We can check this here, and we can start to see the question that is very important that this man is trying to figure out. <laughs> um, but it kind of looks like trash, to be honest. Another thing we could do is check the little box, and there you've got this big, ugly thing that makes it very easy to read the text. But something I've been doing for a long time to make things look a little bit more pretty, and I do this for thumbnails all the time, is I take the text here in the video sequence editor, I duplicate it, move it down on the y-axis by two channels, and then I take this duplicated text, I make it black, and then I go shift A, add effect strip, Gaussian blur, and then I change the blur size, usually to about 30, but when you need a lot of contrast, a smaller value is probably good. And now you've got this blurred background, and that just makes the text a lot more readable. So this is really cool, but it takes maybe up to eight clicks, which, I mean, that's not a big deal if it's one thing you have to do once, but if you do this for multiple lines, multiple times in a clip for like several times during a video, it's kind of a big deal to take that much time on such a simple menial thing. So back to chat GTP we go, and if we take a look here, this is called the info window, and basically every time you do something in Blender, it will give you a little bit of a log about what just happened, and what all the operators were that did that, and I'm not a coder, so I don't know exactly what this is, but it's like, hey, this is what happened in code language. So what I did was I went through all of the steps. So here's the duplicating of the strip. I set that to be black. Here's the operator that says setting the strip color, and then adding in a Gaussian blur, here's the operator that says that, and then setting the blur size for X and Y, that's two other operations, and then I just took all of those and basically paste them into ChatGTP and say, hey, I'd like a script that makes it so these all happen in order automatically. and. It takes a little bit of back and forth with ChatGTP because sometimes it doesn't know actually how to code and Blender will give you an error message once you run the code. And so if you get like syntax errors, you can just copy them and just paste them right back into ChatGTP and it'll come up with another iteration of the code. And basically throughout that process over like an hour, I came up with this, which is just a nice little way to go through all of those menial tasks with one click. So when you click play on this code, it's running, and we can select our strip that we want a drop shadow. I'm gonna go F3 to the menu here, look up add text drop shadow, and you can see the option here, add text drop shadow. We hit that, and boom, we immediately get the duplicated text strip, it's set to black, it's got Gaussian blur on it, and the default is set to 30. As you can see, we have the values here in the text editor, which will set the default. I was looking into making like a little context menu that can change the default blur and the default color of it, but that didn't really work. But this is what we've got. And with like, what is it, one click, you can get really fast drop shadows, which is super cool. If you regularly wrestle with text and legibility in the video sequence editor, and you'd like to get your hands on the script, I'm gonna figure out a way I can share that in the description. But yeah, I just wanted to share this workflow with you and how you can take tiny little menial things that add up to a huge amount of your time and automate them. Now this isn't gonna be the best segue ever. <laughs> But often I'm working with visual effects on this channel and to get some life and atmosphere in my scenes I frequently use these smoke assets and these are looping and seamless So they're pretty drag and drop and I've just found these super helpful And if you'd like to get your hands on them There's a link in the description where you can get those for free. But other than that I hope you have an excellent day and cheers